Bogey Brothers. We are the Bogey Brothers. Today we are back at the beautiful Red Hot Golf Course in Temecula, California. If you guys are new to the fam, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Tap the notification bell so every time we post a video, you guys will get notified. Smalls, what's up, man? I think we're going to learn something today, bro. Hey. <laughs> Bogey Brothers. On. Bulky brothers, get your putt on. Up on the board means you down. You ain't up, huh? Swag check, white check, 101, huh? Best in the West, two under got the dub, huh? Bulky sisters tap in, where you at? Party D got him and cold that pack. Coming through, probably got celebs in the back. Best golf channel on YouTube, yeah. That. Tune in every week, we got more in store. It's Bogey Small, two plus the core. Tune in every week, we got more in store. We got beats, we got clothes, new guests, and more. Come on. So today, I'ma let. Fredro described the video, but I'm about to introduce our guest. We got my man Beanie Eagle in the house back on the channel. Hey, Beanie Eagle. What's up, yo? And we got my man Brett Sturbin from Terminator Golf on YouTube and Instagram. What's going on, everybody? These two are very, very low handicappers. You know what, Fredro? Go ahead and take it away. Today's video, a little bit different. Generally, when the Bogey Brothers are playing a match either against each other or against somebody else, they always just play them straight up. And that may be fine, but if you're going to be playing against somebody who is a lot better than you, then really, you need strokes. The question is, how many strokes do you get and how are they applied? The handicap system seems to be quite a mystery. Uh, I did a video on the new World Handicap System on my channel. It's actually the most popular video that I've ever done. Tens of thousands of views. It's popular because there's a lot of myths behind it. Now the truth is, there is a lot of math and equations, but it's not something that you necessarily have to worry about. The basics are that your handicap is determined by the best eight of your last 20 scores, which then means that it is not what you shoot on average, but really it's supposed to determine your ability. The question is how does this get applied, especially since both Beanie and Brett are plus handicap. Now, frequently people make the mistake of playing off of a handicap. In other words, if one player is say a 5 handicap and another is a 15 handicap, the 15 will get 10 shots from the 5 handicap. And while that is technically true, where the strokes are taken is very important and often done incorrectly. Now the Bogey Brothers are both the same handicap. Select the tees, they're going to be at the blue-white. Now you can see that their handicap index is a 20, but the course index is a 19. Now that Brett, he's a plus 0.5. For the course handicap, this handicap is a plus 3. Any 3 handicap, the course handicap is a plus 6. Okay, now that we know what everyone's handicaps are for the golf course, where do the strokes lie? Really, the strokes should go where the strokes fall not based on the difference between the handicaps. Let me show you how we would do this. For this match, they will be playing from the blue white tees. So for the Bogey Brothers, they would get one shot on each hole, but two on the most difficult. Now, both Brett and Beanie are plus handicaps. That means they shoot, according to their handicaps, under par. They would have to add, in Brett's case, three strokes to their score, and that would be one shot on the three easiest holes. So he would have to add a stroke here. 17 would be the second easiest, and then the 16th handicap hole, he would add another one. For Beanie, it would be on the six easiest holes. Now the first hole that they're playing is going to be number 11. This is par five. In this case, Bogey Smalls and Two Putt will have a shot taken off of their score and Brett and Beanie will play them without having to add anything back. The next hole they're playing is number 12. This is short par three. Brett will play them without having to add, but Beanie will have to add the stroke to his score. The final hole is number 15, and on this hole, both Brett and Beanie will have to add to theirs since it is an easy hole, handicap number 16. All right, two peasy. This one is definitely gonna land on them. Trust. Let's it better. That's you, bro. Absolutely oh, you. <laughs> two peasy is in the box. All right, so this first hole is a par five. Pretty long par five, but definitely very playable. 
there's a lot of area to miss a shot, which would help the Bogey brothers, as long as they don't have too much trouble as they get to the green. Now for Brett and Beanie, par fives are a place low handicaps will really take advantage of. Both two putt and bogey smalls take a stroke off of their score. Brett and Beanie, nothing will be added. Wow. Good thing it's a par six, bro. Right down the pipe. <laughs> so we're playing best ball, right, Smalls? We're gonna use yours. Just get it out there, okay? No. All strokes count. Oh. Hey, you're out there, though. You? Yes. Congratulations. Wow, what a great practice swing. Nothing like Kodak, bro. Oh, my. Good. Wow. Did you take a shortcut? Yeah, can we cut the corner here? Oh. It's in the clouds. Yeah, you should. Left side of the fairway. Take that. It's out there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we get ourselves into here. That sure was a long drive to get over here. Uh-oh, that's there. leaking left. Hang on there. Just walk out the bunker. Should be okay. What you think? No, please don't. Mm. Mm. We still can't see the green. It's somewhere up there, over that hill. Oh, oh man. My gosh. But he's out of the bunker. He rolled out. Hey, you're sitting pretty up there. You could probably see the green from up there. Yeah, man, take a hike. Think about what you just did. Pathetic, right, Beanie? No comment. <laughs> hey, he's walking in style, though. That shirt's fire. Hey, Sunday swagger in the house. Oh, my gosh. Topped it again. He is getting some cart path love, though. Not impressed, huh? He keeps chipping it down there. If I knew how to, like, draw it consistently, this would be the play here. We'll do accident. it on accident. Come on, let's go. You accidentally, purposely, consistently just hit it down the middle of the fairway. Nice club twirl. Yes. Yeah, no. yes. Yes. That, 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 that was worth it. Thank yeah, you. That yes. Was, that Thanks. Was worth it. Thank you. 37 to the flag. 237. Take me about three shots to get there. What's the play here? I'm going for the green. I gotta carry wow. the bunker. Who's playing top flight? Nobody, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, top flight? Like, I don't know who that is. I don't think I played a top flight. Were you insinuating that I would play a top flight? I was uh, 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 a, li a little uh, flabbergasted that somebody would be. <laughs> Would never be me. I caught that. Ooh. Sit short of the bunkers, please. Short of the bunkers. Yeah, that was fat out of the rough, huh? Stick them. And these low handicappers have really good misses. Did he just drive over my. The disrespect! Oh my god! I know I'm a 20 handicap, but jeez! My boy Smalls here is in the rough. Has 190 to the flag, pin is in the front of the green. I'm laying up. What? Uh, lays up with the very best. Yeah, you know, when I'm trying to lay up, I, I know what I'm doing. That's right. It's the other stuff that I have problems with. That's right. Chipping a putt away. Did you club twirl, bro? <laughs> Please tell me you did club twirl. What do you think about that, Brett? Hey, you know what they say, you're supposed to react to the good shots and the bad shots identically. So I'm not too mad at it. Well, you're on the green. Way over there on the green, but you're on the green. Putting for par, essentially, right? Basically. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes! Over there by your boy Two Putt. If you're over there with me, you're shining. Welcome to the club, my man. All right, let's go, Beanie. Oh yeah, it's on. Putting for the bird, right? Yeah, we're both 
going for net par. Net par, aka a bogey. Yeah. Got it. What are the chances of him getting in this bunker? Oh. There's Man, so what's their handicaps? <laughs> Why did we think this was fair? I don't know. <laughs> Definitely right to left. Overshot. To put. To put. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Oh, good putt, bro. There we go. All right, you guys are out. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, we'll give that to you. They're so generous. Good par. I know. Give that to you too. Yep. You guys gonna give my boy Smalls that? I mean, that's a, that's a yeah, that's good. We'll leave him on the ball. What, we're playing match play or something? Oh, they all count. Oh, okay, okay. 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 I'll take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's good now, right? He's yeah. Good. All right. Go ahead and pick it up, bro, before it gets worse. What are we down? Three? That's oh. actually not too bad. Mm. No, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> That was a par five. I think we were at a total disadvantage there. Oh, I think we're at a disadvantage any way you want to look at it. Seriously though, what works to our advantage? The handicaps. The handicaps are supposed to make us even. I don't understand it. Bogey brothers. I don't think I'm in the box anymore. <laughs> I don't oh. think so. <laughs> we gotta show them the way. All right. This next hole, it's a shorter par three only about 142 yards. This means that the low handicaps are probably hitting a wedge or possibly a nine iron to the green, which they should be able to hit and have a decent look at birdie. The Bogey Brothers, well, they're the Bogey Brothers and they're probably going to make bogey. So for them, this is a really good chance for them to hit a very short club pretty close to the green, get a ball on two putt, and they're gonna have quite an advantage. Eni is a plus five. This would be a hole where he would have to give a shot. A hey, question. How often do low handicaps have blow up holes? Um, pretty often. I would say almost every single round I have a blow up hole. Okay. It's about managing the greater big picture. Okay. Nice and high. Looks like it's going straight to the green. On the green, right side. Long putt for birdie, but he's on the dance floor. Actually, that's a long putt for Paul, because this is a par two for this guy. Oh, so a birdie for the, would have been a hole in one. <laughs> yes. Okay, that looks like it's going to the same direction as Beanie. Straight, right side of the green. Oh, yep, it's on the green. I was hoping that they were going to take some pressure off of us. But instead, they did what? Put more pressure on us. <laughs> Look at these guys. Not a care in the world. Just loving life. You know, hitting great golf shots. Must be nice. Okay. Just drawing to the flag. Left side. And it's in the dirt. They're like all buddy-buddy. You know, because they're good. Yeah. I just go left out. I <laughs> know, right? The cool kids are over there. And two peasies way over here. And he's on the green. Oh. Man, I think I, uh, I'm closer to the hole. How about that? Wait a minute. I think so. Wait I a know. minute. Get down if you make a par, that's a bird. Let's go. Well, small, you are closest to the pin, but it is invalid because you are in this waste area. Get up on the green, bro. Close to the pin. Mm, that's not going to get it done. You know what? I still have an opportunity to make a net par. Oh. Almost. Not bad. Now. Small coin, big coin. Um, yeah, can you put it one away from you? Mm. Took a little bumpy ride to get here. That was almost the line though. A little long. A little long. He's going for bogey. Really? Yes. Stop. Oh, 
Oh no! That thing did not turn at all. What do you think, Eagle? It's makeable. For who? For both of us. Oh, okay. Actually, I thought you were talking about two peasy, and that's why I questioned it. Oh man, oh man, two, oh! Okay, all right, two peas. Just think about it. You're only going for bird. Oh. Good, no good, Smalls. No good, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Man, good bogey. I'm man. okay with that. When you're the man, your pars turn into bogeys. Oh! That's good, man. That's good. Thank you. Okay, so that's a parski, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. Which way did I go? This way? Uh, yep. Probably a little bit more. Yep. Hey, you're going to get roasted. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do Big it. Uh, time, yeah. he didn't do it the legit way. No, I'm not a low handicapper. <laughs> I'm sure Frederick could talk about this. Let me know what I did wrong. <laughs> so Brett, that's a no-no, right? Bogey brothers. Oh. Uh. Really, bogey smiles. All right, well, I think we all know what he didn't do right, and that was he didn't properly move his mark back. There's a couple of things actually going on here. One, if you mark your ball, as you should, and then use your putter or something else to move the marker out of the way, you must go through the same process to move the marker back and then place your ball once that marker is in place. He didn't do that. The question is what to do about this, because his claim competitors were kind of calling on him, but weren't really calling him on it. Which also poses another problem. If you know that someone is breaking the rules and you don't call it and you, the two of you kind of get together and don't worry about it, that's actually breaking the rules as well. You're not supposed to make up your own rules as you go. Now this is a friendly match and this is fine. But if you're playing in a competitive situation, that is intentionally breaking the rules and both players would be disqualified, which means neither would advance. If it were a match play event, if it was a stroke play event, obviously they would be disqualified from the tournament. So let's not do that. Ooh. You gonna give him that? If he gives me mine, I like a good, good, good situation. <laughs> what, do what do you think? I say make it, bro. <laughs> My man, oh. my man. I'd have blamed that on you, bro. Well, are you gonna promptly like show the clip and be missing one of these from the last time I was here? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Now it's in your head. There you go. Doesn't affect these low handicappers. Not at all. All right, so where are we at? I got a four. He gets a stroke added to his. Yes, yes, yours is a three net four, right? Mine is a natural four. Right, that's five. Mine is a four, four net three. Three strokes. Beat us by one. So we only made up one stroke to beat. Correct. I only made up one stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they want heat. They're going to get heat. We really don't want heat. I don't know where you got that from. We don't, we don't want heat. Bogey Brothers. They are. You are. Oh Whoa. yeah, that's right. You <laughs> by one. <laughs> Way to remind them, 2 peasy. So now the match is a little bit closer. The Bogey Brothers are only down two strokes going into a hole. Well, they clearly have everything going for them. It's a par four, not altogether that long, about 340 yards. So if they can just get it in play off the tee, get it up there somewhere around the green, knock it on, and two putt, that gives them both a bogey, but both Beanie and Brett because the hole is so easy, actually this is the easiest hole in the golf course, they will both have to give a shot. Come on. Sit. Sit. Did it sit? 
I don't know if it was worth a club twirl. But it's always worth a club twirl. <laughs> <laughs> now seriously though, guys, am I good? The inbounds. The question is if it's on that fish. Okay, I'm gonna hold you guys to that. Okay. That has a nice little draw to it. Left side of the fairway. It's good. Buggy Smalls is in the money. With two strokes, I think that's good enough. Oh my god. Oh my. Bro. Can we get three strokes each on this hole? You're getting four. Yeah, but that was amazing. I don't see it. We found it. I don't get free relief here. He doesn't get free relief. I'm not sure. For plus three handicapper, you should know this. I would know it if I was a plus three handicapper. <laughs> There's no free relief. Technically, Wait, so I, I see you uh, hacking it out lefty, sir. Put the club over and chip it. Chip it right down here. You gotta check the rules on that one. We need Man, Fredro. Buggy Brothers. A boundary wall is really treated like anything that defines the boundary of the golf course. Sometimes it's a hard wall, sometimes it's a fence, sometimes it's a white stake or a white painted line. The thing to remember is that the boundary is defined by the edge that is closest to the golf course. So in the case of a white stake, the edges of that stake that are on the course side define the edge of the boundary. That means that the stake itself or the white line or the rest of the object is actually out of bounds and does not qualify as an obstruction and is not movable and you are not entitled to relief. This is frequently broken because people don't understand that the white stake is not the boundary itself. The definition of the boundary is the inside edge of that object. So if the white stake is in your way, you cannot remove it. That would be a penalty. If it's a fence, you cannot take it apart if it were like a stake fence. And in this case, obviously, this wall is not movable. So the ball has to be played as it lies. <laughs> Just put your leg back up on the fence. I think your leg up was a good, pretty much a good shot for that. Yeah. All right. Does it get any better than that, huh? It's, uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to hold it out. Oh wow. All right. Wow. Dick. Oh wow. 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 Yes. Yes. A heck of a shot. Oh. You're in the trap, bro. Yep. It was my footing, man. Oh my gosh. Look how I'm standing. Sorry, bro. <laughs> you know, it's not over yet. You're letting me down, but most importantly, you're letting the fam down. <sighs> guys, this is my partner. That's my partner. You guys can't say nothing about him either. That's my partner. Pathetic. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. All right, let's go to your balls that are on the green. Who is this? Chris. Where are you at? I'm right next to the bunker over there. Dang, Chris, you outdrove the Terminator. He's my partner, so I have to make sure he's on my side. Make him fight, make him fight. Yeah, I know, I know. Why don't we do a little closest two between you and Terminator right now? Are you gonna make me go up against my partner? By the way, what type of ball are you playing? I'm playing a uh, left dash Titleist Pro V1X. Basically, he's trying to say his balls are better than Beanie Eagle's balls. Wow. <laughs> Is that true? Oh, yeah. It's on there. It's rolling. And it's still rolling. Beanie Eagle, you have an opportunity here to show out and show off. Okay, a little short. And it's not on the green. Okay, Smalls, what's the game plan here? Flop shot. I don't know if I agree with that one. Oh, you I'm got out. out. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're still up. I'm going for the same shot as Beanie Eagle. <laughs> That's good. Go. Go. Proud of you though, man. Two putt. It's putting for par, Terminator. 
putting for birdie. Bogey small is putting for bogey. And my man Beanie Eagle chipping for the bird. Wow. He's putting for par. Net bogey. Turn. Think you're out. So let me do this properly this time, right? There you go. That's how you properly do it. <laughs> 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 what are you going for, Brett? Uh, par? par? Which is bogey. What'd you just get? I got a bogey. A real bogey? A real bogey. Which means you got a double. All this means, if he makes this putt, it's over. And you win. What? Wait, oh, this is for Bird. Bro, make this, this putt. This is literally the winning putt. Make this putt. It doesn't matter what my putt does if he wins. Bro, it. make the two putt. Two putt. Two putt. From the best. I did my part. Bro, oh my God. No? <laughs> I wouldn't give it to you either, to be honest. Not after that. All right, this is for the tie, right, Brett? And Terminator Golf to tie the match. This is no good. <laughs> for who? You think he got this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No yeah. problem. Bro, did we win? <laughs> did we pull off a miracle? Wow. Bro, handicaps do work. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like a win, but because of the handicap, we won, right? Yeah, handicaps work. Hey, guys, thanks for coming out. <laughs> Man. Yes, 2P. You played amazing. Man. Hey. Hey. Yo. Bro, did we seriously win? We won. Can you guys, can you guys uh, make me understand how we won? Well, they had their opportunities, but the low handicaps lost the match, mainly because they didn't play like low handicaps. Beanie made a par and a par five, which is okay, but didn't take advantage of it. He made the par on the short par three, and then he bogeyed the very short and very easy par four last hole when he was actually pinned high off the tee. Brett, well, similar issues. Made a bogey on the easy hole as well after a really good drive. So they did not take advantage of where they should have been taking advantage, and it's why they lost the match. The bogey brothers played okay. They played pretty much towards their handicap. Um, they're not gonna play much worse, but really probably not altogether that much better. They made a number of bogeys and that's why they did well. So they did their job, the low handicaps, they struggled as they will in a very short match. Man, it feels good to be a high handicap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what You know what else though? High handicappers tend to leave their stuff behind. Yeah. So here's your stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, since your boy took the victory today, I figured I'd do a shout out to the Red Hawk Golf Course. Uh -huh. Like I said, if you guys are ever in the Temecula area, come check out Red Hawk. Beautiful condition. You'll love it. Shout out our guests. Oh, yeah. You know, Even gotta, though they lost. We got to shout out the people who took an L. I was there in 2020. I know. <laughs> right? I know. And I'm a winner now. I want to do a shout out to my main man, Beanie Eagle. Dude, he's the bomb. Follow and, him on Instagram. Yep, links will be below. And Brett, aka Turk.
Terminator Golf. Follow him on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube. channel on YouTube. Yeah, he's popping on YouTube. Pedro Parr, man, always coming through with the rules. Yep. What up? Golfers walk on YouTube. Man, let's let's shout out some um some uh, OG fam while we're at it too. All right, I do want to do a special shout out to Black Caesar, Craig Richards, Brandon McGuire, and 357 Knox. Thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate you guys always being in the comments. OG fam. For life. Bogey brothers.